than none on public radio, where they're asking people, how do you feel compared to last year? Every category, every category, rich, medium, poor, feel nervous and less well off than they were last year, regardless of the data. Yeah. Um, and some of the issues that came up were the ending of some of the uh, one-off stimulus programs, stimulus yeah. programs like uh, no payment of student debt. That's just ending. One after another. That's a pretty good indicator of... Alarm bells are ringing, and it's none other than Jeremy Grantham, the co-founder and chief investment strategist of GMO LLC, who's pulling the cord. Investing always comes with risks, but those risks are magnified when the market teeters on the edge of a downturn. If you're thinking about investing, it's crucial to understand where the market might be headed. And Jeremy Grantham has some urgent insights to share. In this video, I'm going to talk about the current state of the market and explore why Jeremy Grantham believes a recession might be just around the corner. And for all you crypto enthusiasts, stick around because you'll want to hear why, despite these alarming predictions, cryptocurrencies might just be your golden ticket through the turmoil. So, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest insights. Now, let's get into the topic and find out why Grantham's warning is one you can't afford to ignore. Are we headed into a recession? It's Greenspan, the Federal Reserve has got nothing important right. right? Every time it turns, it gets it wrong. Every opinion it gives about a soft landing is wrong. And their battle plan has been wrong. Their battle plan was push up the market to help the economy. And they pushed up the market and they pushed it and they pushed it three different times and it did help the economy. The trouble is they always went down. And that comes in with a negative economic effect exactly when you don't need it. Right. And they keep very quiet. They actually brag about the upside help to the economy. So they have it rise through the 90s and collapse in the early 2000s. Then they have it rise to the housing bubble and collapse with the housing bubble. And, and a financial world that is brought to the edge of destruction, it really was on its knees. And then they push it up and here we are once again, same high prices. You might have heard whispers of a looming recession for 2024. And yes, it's looking more likely by the day. Jeremy Grantham points out that pretty much everyone is feeling the pinch these days from the rich to the poor. Why? Well, it's partly because all those helpful stimulus checks and other financial boosts are drying up. And then there are these leading indicators, which are like the market's way of sending us signals about what's coming. Right now, they're practically shouting that something's not right. Jeremy also thinks the big banks, like the Federal Reserve, have been playing a risky game lately. They've been pumping up the stock market to give the economy a boost. Sure, it works for a while, but what goes up must come down. And when it does, it's not pretty. These ups and downs create a kind of financial roller coaster that's hard to get off. Grantham's pretty clear that he thinks the Fed's optimism about a smooth ride, a soft landing from these highs, is a bit out of touch. They've gotten it wrong before, and Jeremy is not shy about betting they might be getting it wrong again. Grantham's words are a heads up to brace ourselves. Whether you're deep into investing or just starting to dip your toes in, it's crucial to stay informed and maybe, just maybe, prepare for a bumpy ride ahead. Is the 2020 to 2024 bubble about to explode? The surge that took place in late 2020 um, finally had the characteristics that have been missing for the 10 years. The mania. This epic 10 years. Yeah, we got it. The mania came out. Yeah. As I have said many times, written many times, Bubbles, it's not just about price. If you get price and it's boring, that is not a peak. You need it's behavior. You need, you need You've the got psychology. to see yeah, yeah. higher prices plus crazy behavior, which is unique that you have never seen anything quite that. And the NFTs qualify? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Meme stops qualify. Sure, absolutely. Quantumscape 
is the biggest scale of any Jeremy Grantham has been around the block a few times when it comes to market predictions. He's seen bubbles come and go, and his insights have been spot on more often than not. Now he's pointing out that the recent surge in the market, especially since late 2020, showed classic signs of a mania phase. This isn't just high prices, but high prices paired with some seriously wild market behavior. Take a moment to think about some of the craziness we've seen. NFTs selling for millions, meme stocks like GameStop skyrocketing overnight, and companies like QuantumScape, which soared to remarkable heights without the financials typically needed to back such valuations. This, according to Jeremy Grantham, is what a bubble looks like. Not just overpriced assets, but assets being traded like crazy. Jeremy Grantham compares today's market to the most epic bubbles in history like Japan in the late 1980s. Back then, Japan's real estate and stock markets reached astronomical levels. We're talking about real estate in downtown Tokyo being over 10 times the price of Manhattan's already pricey digs. And if we talk about the Japanese stock market, it hit a price to earnings ratio of 65. That's what you call a real bubble. Now, Jeremy Grantham warns that we're seeing similar patterns, but there's a twist. While real estate and stocks have historically been the main actors in bubble dramas, now it's broader. The global real estate market has driven prices to stunning multiples of family income worldwide, with cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and London reaching previously unthinkable levels. According to Jeremy Grantham, this isn't just a bubble. It's a global bubble affecting more than just housing. Jeremy Grantham suggests that even with the central bank's best efforts, their strategies have often backfired. They've pumped up the markets to boost the economy, but each boost has been followed by a bust. And these busts hurt the economy rather than helping. They leave economies reeling and erase years of gains in a matter of months. The current state of inflated asset prices driven by years of low interest rates and speculative investments could be on a collision course with reality. And when that bubble bursts, it might not just be a market correction, it could be a full-scale economic shakeup. Cryptocurrency, a safe haven amid a market crash? Now that we've unpacked the potential bubble scenario that Jeremy Grantham has warned us about, let's move to a topic that's on many investors' minds, cryptocurrency. In a world where traditional markets might be heading for a tumble, could digital currencies like Bitcoin be the safe haven we're all looking for? First off, the idea of cryptocurrencies as a safe haven isn't new. Traditionally, assets like gold have played this role during times of economic uncertainty. They're considered safe because they're not directly tied to the performance of the stock markets or a particular country's economy. Now, with the digital age in full swing, Bitcoin and its crypto cousins are increasingly being viewed through a similar lens. Why? Well, cryptocurrencies operate on a decentralized network. This means they're not controlled by any single entity, government, or central bank. In the theoretical event of a market crash or severe economic downturn, this decentralization could be a key factor in protecting the value of cryptocurrencies. Unlike traditional currencies, which can be deeply impacted by the policies of central banks or dramatic shifts in government policy, cryptocurrencies are global and not tied to the fortunes of any single economy. Now, back to Jeremy Grantham's perspective. If we're entering a period where traditional markets are about to see a significant downturn or even a crash, the argument for cryptocurrencies as a safe haven becomes stronger. Imagine the stock markets plummeting, inflation rising, and traditional investment vehicles failing left and right. In such a scenario, the appeal of a decentralized currency that's not subject to the policies of any government or financial institution could skyrocket. Moreover, with the recent movements in the world of crypto, particularly the increased adoption of interest from institutional investors, the credibility and acceptance of cryptocurrencies are higher than ever. This isn't just speculative talk anymore. Major financial players are investing in the infrastructure to support Bitcoin and other digital assets. For example, the approval of Bitcoin ETFs has made it easier for everyday investors to get involved without navigating the sometimes complex process of buying and storing digital coins directly. Now, let's talk numbers. 
Bitcoin has been predicted by several analysts, including those in Jeremy's circle, to potentially hit or even surpass $100,000 by the end of the year. These predictions are based on various factors, including the increased demand from both retail and institutional investors, limited supply due to the halving events, which we've talked about in previous videos, and broader economic conditions favoring digital currencies. If Bitcoin were to reach such heights, especially during or following a market crash, it would not only validate its role as a digital safe haven, but also provide substantial returns for those who chose to invest in it during uncertain times. This is not to say that investing in cryptocurrencies is without risk, far from it. The crypto market is known for its volatility and dramatic price swings are common. Therefore, it's always advised to do your own research before diving into the world of crypto and try to divide your investment over many asset classes so that you stay on the safe side. Now, if you don't know which crypto coins could be the best investment option, watch our next video on the best crypto assets for the next bull run and get some advice from Raul Paul. Go ahead and watch the video right away. But before leaving, give this video a like and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll be back with another video soon.